Japanese versus Swedish minimalism. Japanese minimalism is deeply rooted in Buddhism. It is focused on clearing space so that you have room to think. This can create reflection and tranquility. Swedish minimalism is driven by functionality and how practical an object is. Every item must serve a purpose. There is no room for clutter. Everything must have a function. Both styles focus on functionality. They both focus on the importance of space. It's about finding beauty and simplicity while reflecting who you are in your space. These cultures have taken the idea of less is more and raised it to an art level that the entire world admires. The art form is quiet and subdued. Japanese minimalism uses natural wood, embracing imperfections. Spaces are left bare as a conscious design choice so that one has room for reflect and thought. Balance is important. Light and shadow is there to create balance. Swedish has a monochromatic color palette. Wood and plants are incorporated to warm it up. It's more about creating a space that is visually pleasing. It's a way of life for most people. It's a thought process. The Japanese style is based on Zen Buddhist thoughts of having less and appreciating the space in between, quiet moments and peace in the emptiness. It's about being serene. I'm going to take a quick moment to ask you to subscribe to our channel. We have fresh new videos on minimalism daily. We'd love to hear your comments on what you would like to discuss about minimalism. It's a subject that we can talk about all a day. So let's connect, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so much. The Swedish is about not too little and not too much. Each texture is chosen for sustainability. These styles are driven by different needs. Less can be more. You can choose both or neither. It can be an aesthetic or a true lifestyle. The interior design styles are close together. The Scandi styles use a lot of light and lack of clutter. Everything have a place. They value nature and spend lots of time outdoors and that is inflected. Wood floors remain uncovered. Light wooden floors are used a lot. Creating a cozy home is important. Warm textures are important. Swedish homes are known for being happy. Japandi design is Japanese and Scandinavian design can bring in minimalism. It uses dark woods, dark reds, while using a combination of lighter, modern furniture. Respect for craftsmanship is important. It is peaceful and fresh. It brings in organic. You want neutral colors for the floors and walls that gives you a simple palette to start with. Get minimalist furniture and natural material in your furniture. Wood, stone, and concrete. Cotton and linen. No plastic and no loud or shiny furniture. Create soft and ambient lighting. Floor lamps and string lights are nice. Paper lamps are good too. Use black and an accent. Just a little, not overpowering. Embrace imperfect. Rustic tablework can do that. Focus on quality. Bring in nature, plants, choose something with muted color. One tone flower. Neutral colors are easy on the eyes and can make your space feel more open. They also offer more versatility. Big windows help. Having as much natural light as possible is important to making the place look bigger and more open.